team, you know, in the non-conference was that we put together as challenging a non-conference schedule as we could put together. Uh, playing Indiana, playing VCU, playing LaSalle, a team with all their starters back from the Sweet 16 team, playing the CAA champs in Northeastern. Um, you know, I learned a lot about the youth of our program. We graduated four seniors last year. Uh, I learned a lot about our rotation for this year, um, who's going to be in it, who can come off the bench and spark us, uh, the different skill sets of our newcomers. And I also learned about the improvement some of our veterans have made. Um, and I also learned uh, how important home games are. Uh, so uh, when you go on the road, um, you have to be road tough. And uh, I think we're growing as a program into that kind of a characteristic. Uh, but I really like this team. We can score points. Last year at this time, we could only beat you on the defensive end. We can score points this year. We've scored over 100 in games. We've had 99. We've put up an easy 80 in a lot of games. Um, you know, I like that characteristic of this group. I think as we continue to grow as a unit and we blend our freshman Ahmad Walker with our sophomore class and our seniors continue to give us good leadership, I think we're you know, really excited about having just the continuation of a great, great season you know, as, we, uh, as we now go into league play. Um, so I'm excited. I really am excited about uh, the potential of this, this, this group. But it was a good interior pass to Zach. Nice speed from Lonnie to McAllister. You know, our most improved player, I really believe by far, and if you look at his stats from his freshman year here to now as a senior, is 100% is Eric McAllister. He's improved his leadership. He's gained 27 pounds. He's improved, obviously, his strength and conditioning. Um, He's one of our best post-up players, too. Terrific post moves. He's gotten better at that, more confident, and the strength has enabled him now to be a real post-up presence. Um, I think he's changed his game in, in some ways. He's become a good post defender, too, where a few years ago he really struggled in that area. Uh, but most importantly, I think you know he's improved as a student, athlete, in every capacity. And... I'm real proud of him, and he's going to have a great senior year as he's already started off the year the right way. And, and going into league play here, I think people are going to be really surprised at how much he's improved. Oh. Oh. I tell you what, Dave, uh, maybe one of the most underrated defensive uh, guards around, um, he really does a lot for us. He's athletic, he's quick. Uh, but he's also determined, and he always guards the best player on the other team, the best perimeter player. Um, feel a lot of confidence. He's a good team defender, too. He can get steals. Um, he's tough enough to fight through a lot of different actions, screening-wise. And, you know, I'm real proud of how far he's come, you know, as a defender, because when he first came here as a freshman, he was um, not a great defender, and now he's heading into th that kind of a characteristic of being a uh, defender that every night, night in and night out, can take away the other team's biggest offensive scoring threat. You know, real luxury. Um, I call it we have six starters. So he really is a starter. Uh, he plays starter minutes. Um, but a real luxury to have Trey Purifoy coming off the bench um, early in the season with the new foul rules. So important to have a good bench and, uh, you know, very worried always about fouls and especially the way they were calling them uh, to have Trey be able to come in and change the pace of our game. He's one of our better offensive guards. He can shoot. He can get to the rim. He can make plays for other people, um, you know, his speed. Um, and he's grown and gotten better, too, uh, from his freshman year to his sophomore year. So, you know, real pleased to have a six-man uh, like him, but like I tell our players, we got six starters. Um, everyone needs to be a good player for us, and we need to continue to grow our bench. But he's a big part of our bench, and he's a big part of changing tempo of games. And he could do it too on the defensive end of the floor too. So, um, real pleased at his development. Hope he continues, you know, to progress as, as one of the better guards in, in the conference. <laughs>